Hi guys, welcome to another episode of mrlopezclasses.com. Today we are going to talk about inverters. What is the function of the inverter in a boat? To understand the inverters, I want to explain what is the difference between inverter and battery charger. The battery charger is an electronic equipment designed to convert AC current into DC. Let me show you something. This is the typical battery charger. The battery charger receives power from the short power, AC power, and convert into DC. This is a rectifier, because rectify the AC signal into DC and charge the battery bank. This is the battery charger. The function of the battery charger is exclusively charge the battery bank. And now we are going to analyze what is the meaning of a the inverter, the inverter charger. The inverter is an electronic equipment that uh, converts DC current coming from the battery bank into AC and provide power for the AC panel. Yes, the inverter invert, invert DC into AC. It's the opposite of the battery charger. The battery charger rectified AC into DC. The inverter invert DC current, straight current, into AC current for the AC panel. That's the function of uh, the inverter. The new inverters, the modern inverters, are more sophisticated and they are smart, they are intelligent, they are integrated with the system. They receive also AC power they receive AC power coming from the short power, and they have the ability to bypass AC power directly to the AC panel, and additionally charge the battery bank. When this element is inverting, that element have the ability to receive AC current, bypass some of that current directly into the AC panel, and with the battery charger located inside of this, recharge the battery bank of this equipment, dual function. And this is why today in the modern boat, the inverter charger, a smart inverter charger, is the solution for uh, sailboats, catamarans, RVs, and electric and hybrid cars. This, this element, the inverter, is excellent. Why? Because today, in the conversion of uh, electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles, the majority of the motors are AC current, AC current three phase. And the majority of those um, vehicles, they collect energy from the solar panels into the batteries. With this equipment, they convert the DC current from the batteries into AC for the three phases of the AC motors. Correct? This is, the, this is why the new boats, the new vehicles, the new cars, the new trucks, the new RVs, they have an inverter charger, sophisticated, intelligent inverter charger to convert DC current into AC. Okay, now we are going to analyze in, a, in my prototype, my hybrid and solar boat, uh, how this element, the inverter charger works, how this element, the inverter charger is integrated with the house of the boat. Okay, let's go. Okay guys, in this moment, uh, I have uh, my solar boat uh, this is the battery bank. Uh, I have a DC panel, AC panel. This is the battery bank. The battery bank is configured in 48 volts, mm, 200 amps, because each battery is 48 volts, 96 amps per hour. And the batteries are connected in parallel, positive with positive, protected with a fuse, and negative with negative. And I have 48 volts, 48 volts, 48 volts entering here in the smart in the smart link distributor and the smart chunt and here we have a uh, one display one display for uh, for uh, the victron system and other display to verify uh, the level of charge in the battery bank the soc state of charge this is the display in this moment uh is uh, not power coming in from uh, the short power system and uh also no power coming from the solar panels the solar panels are here 
the solar panels in this moment I am inside of the building is not receiving power and I don't have loads in the AC panel. I am going to turn on the inverter charger and this is the Servo GX. Uh, this is the MPPT to convert solar power and send the solar power to the Lynx distributor. All right, uh, I am going to start the inverter charger. In this moment, it's off. I am going to start and right now is inverting. What is the meaning of that? It's converting DC power, converting DC power into AC power. Ah, that AC power is coming out to the AC panel. And now I have power here in the AC panel. I can turn on the, the lights, the, the air conditioned unit. All right, that's great. Okay, in this moment is inverting and you can see the system is suctioning power from the batteries entering in the inverter and provide provide power for the AC panel. Uh, in this moment, the air condition is off. The consumption is only 91 watts for the lights. I am going to turn on the air condition. And here immediately you see that the consumption passed from 90 watts to 329. That's great. And the system is inverting. The system is inverting and the voltage of the battery in this moment, the battery bank is 54 volts, is 100% charge. I am going to connect the short power with the system running, with the system inverting, producing AC power to the AC panel. I am going to connect the AC short power cable. The AC short power cable is connected in this moment providing AC power. The automatic transfer switch read is in automatic position. In this moment is on, is on the short power. And immediately the inverter pass to the mode charger. However, some of the power coming in enter directly into the, into the input of the inverter charger and send its bypass directly into the panel. I have AC, par AC power in the panel because this, this element in this moment is charging the battery bank and bypass the current directly from the short power and bypass the current here into the AC panel. This is a smart, this is a smart inverter charger. If I disconnect, look, in this moment is providing power from the grid some power is passing directly into the AC panel and other one is charging the battery bank. This is perfect. This is perfect. If I disconnect the short power, the system continue running. The AC power and in this moment is inverting. And no more short power, only some suction power from the batteries. The DC current enter here is converted in AC and provide power for the AC panel. That's great, no? This is the function of the inverter charger. This is a smart inverter charger. That element decide if uh, bypass the current directly from the short power or from the generator. If I start the generator, this element switch directly here into generator and enter the current here at the input. In other words, the input of this element is coming from short power or from generator because this element is automatic and switch the position. And this element decide if I charge the system, the battery bank, or invert like this to provide power for the AC panel. Additionally, because this is 48 volts and my boat is 12 volts, I install a DC to DC converter. I bring 48 volts here and convert into 12 and provide power for the panel of 12 volts. And now I have 12 volts here, I have lights, 12 volts, and I have power DC. And this is the situation with this intelligent boat. This intelligent boat have other ability. I have in this moment running the air condition unit, AC unit. But I have another air condition unit 
DC unit, 48 volts DC, that unit will be running directly from the battery bank. And this is a perfect self-contained unit, DC with 48 volts DC. Both air conditioned units, AC and DC. This is a perfect hybrid boat with an intelligent inverter charger.